Hello everyone. So you would have seen a lot of uh, um, videos, a lot of links, a lot of emails with the catchy line saying, you know, earn from home, work uh, from home, make money from home, make money online. But if you actually look at the content of it, if you actually look at what they're offering, most of it is either a scam or most of it is either a marketing, like, you know, it's either a, a multi-layer selling, multi-level selling, it's it's an MLM or something that, that's making you sell a product or so, it's not really working from home where you are earning money using your skills, using, you know, the talent that you have, you you know, doing some work and, and getting money from that work. It's something else that's been falsely advertised as work from home and making money from home. But uh, there are still a few options that are available um, where you can actually work from home, use your skill, you know, be it uh, technical writing, be it logo making, drawing, painting, uh, it could be translation, language skills, voiceover skills, anything that you that you can think of that you can work from a remote location for someone and you can uh, you can use that. So this is a genuine uh, process, a genuine website that I'm going to tell you where you can actually sign up to it and you can actually get jobs, do the jobs from your home and you can get paid for it, all legitimate, all legal and a proper um, work process. And some people have actually found that they could make serious money from it. Uh, it takes a lot of time to start. I'll not, I'll not lie. I'll be very honest with you. It takes a lot of time to start. Um, there's an element of luck before you get your first job or your first gig, as it's called in the uh, website. But once um, you put your heart and soul into it, once you put a lot of effort into it, you will be able to make money. You will be able to get jobs in it. Um, and I'm, what I'm going to do is. I'm not going to just talk about it and, and just leave it there. What I'm trying to attempt to do is you know, give you confidence. So I'm actually going to create a profile for myself. I'm going to walk you through the entire um, profile creation process. So for today's video, I'm, I'm choosing uh, Fiverr.com, Fiverr with a double R, Fiverr.com. I'll give you the link anyway in the description. There are a few websites out there. There's Freelancer, there's Anytask, there's, there's a few things out there. But I found Fiverr to be a little bit different from everything else where you can advertise what you can do for people and people can come and then choose um, you or you know they, it's basically like putting a CV in a job site and uh, something that allows you to actually um, get jobs and I'll also be giving a few tips as to get how to get your first job I'll also be giving tips as to you know what makes you what makes it different that you get a job rather than somebody else and, and we'll be going through a few examples in the end of the video so People who've been following my channel, my wife's channel, Anita Anand, um, you will probably be knowing that we're making like a series of videos where we're trying to say, you know, you can start your own YouTube channel, you can um, do share trading to earn money, and, and now this, um, you know, how do you earn money working from home online? The reason is, you know, during this lockdown, during the uh, coronavirus crisis, a lot of us have found that, you know, we are sitting at home, we're either furloughed or, you know, we don't have work. And we're trying to make uh, a bit more money. And you would have seen people in IT, they are able to work from home and still get money. So I'm just trying to you know, give that kind of hope to uh, people who are looking for that kind of uh, information and who don't know about this. I, I know many of you probably already know about it, but uh, I'm trying to make this video for people who are not aware of these uh, options available. So let's go and uh, um, start the video. So I made the uh, sign up process video um, when I made the Tamil um, version of this video. I'm going to use the same sign up process, but I'm going to explain to you in detail when we go along it. So this is the Fiverr.com website where they're explaining that every four seconds someone is getting a job, someone is getting one piece of work, um, and then there are 50 million transactions that are happening. The price range is very important. People are getting you know five dollars for one job to even ten thousand dollars for one job at times. Once you get started in this, once you start making money. So the, I went online uh, just to find some examples where people are talking about in forums, you know, are they making money, especially Indians, you know, uh, you, you'll be watching a lot of this in India, for example, especially Indians, you know, are they making money in India? There are a lot of people who've commented positively saying that, yes, they've been using it for three, four years, you know, 2015, 2017, 2018, they've been using it and they're getting good money and they've even posted um, some of the most successful people have posted screenshots that once they start earning money, the people have posted, you know, they, they won like $64,000 per year, which is nearly around, you know, 50 lakhs. Um, but, you know, this is the extreme high end. Even if you don't make this kind of money, at least it gives you confidence that uh, money can definitely be made using Fiverr. Um, and, and there are several examples where they've given 
if you go and read up the forums after this video you can actually go and see some um, motivational um, people who've been saying that you know what kind of work that they've done how they've initially struggled but you know again that that comes with a warning right a lot of people have also explained that the initial job the first job is always going to be harder and you know it is it is like any other job right when you go to the uh, when you go to a job interview they ask you for experience so fiverr is again going to be similar you know the first job is going to be difficult because when you haven't got a rating uh, so when you do your job you know you get a rating and we don't have a rating you know people are not going to take you seriously so it's like a uber um it's like an ola driver where you know when you when you get out, get out of a cab you need to rate the driver and that basically gets him more and more uh, uh, journey so it's very similar to that but we'll see how to get the ratings i'll talk about few tips and tricks that uh, you can use to get the ratings so i'm going to click on become a seller option um then it ask me to uh, do join fiverr so i'm going to use my email address um, you could use your facebook or uh, your uh, google but i don't want to allow any of my um, accounts social media accounts to be integrated with fiverr yet uh, i'm just going to use my email sign up process i'm going to use my uh, youtube email id you would have known anand3.lifestyle@gmail.com and once you give your uh, email address and continue um, it ask you for your name so be make sure that you know you're not putting any false information at this point you could put a username which is catchy you know you don't this is not a place this is what is going to be visible to the buyers who are going to buy your service so don't use something uh, random or don't use something that is not professional try and use something that's really professional at this point so i'm going to use anand chennai as a as an example you get a um, email notification which says that uh, you need to click on the link to activate it and once you go to fiverr after that it also says that you need to first activate your account before you can continue with the rest of the process so i'm going to open my email um, and then in my email i would have got a, a email from fiverr.com in similar to most sign up processes in most services where i need to click on activate your account so once i click on activate your account um, the account is activated and now i'm ready to create my profile or start my profile um, so let's click on become a seller which is basically where you start creating your profile and then you can post your gig or post your um, your uh, skill set so when i click on uh, um, create my profile or become a seller option it gives you a bit of template you know what are these these are commonly used uh, commonly bought services in fiverr like you could be a voice over artist where you give voice to an existing video and a videos in english you could give a voice in 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 uh, hindi or in bengali or in in a different language right in south indian language there are so many languages so people having an english video they want to convert it into a let's say malayalam video right you could become a voice over artist in malayalam or you could become a a logo designer you could be a musician you could play custom music create custom music for people looking for background music could be a writer where um you write content writing for specific uh, things or it could be a video editor for for today's purposes i'm going to use my skill set as a video editor having edited my youtube videos and I'm, that's what i'm going to sell saying that i can edit videos for people but you know your uh, the the work that you can do is limited by only by your imagination so you don't need to fit to this this uh, category you can put any um content that you want you can you can actually say that if you are good at something like for example drawing right you could say that i'm going to do caricature of somebody you know the the work that you do is basically limited only by your imagination so um you can you can see if it works for you for example you don't need to limit it to just one profile or one work that you could do you could say that i could do voice over as well as you know translation for example or you could do subtitling for example so there are there are few things that you could do and if you are doing caricature for example right you can say that you know, send me your photograph i will do a caricature of this photograph i will record that caricature process and then i'll give you both the caricature as well as the recording so it's something that people could buy right it's a service that people could buy not necessarily that you know it's not like a product selling but it's a service that you're selling so uh, think of it that anything that you could do online anything that you could do remotely right you could sell it so i'm going to continue and uh, continue with the uh, the fiverr profile so the key thing is um you need to make sure that you you give as much accurate information as possible so there are some don'ts that they have talked about do not create duplicate accounts like i said right if you are if you are able to provide multiple services provide all of the services using the same account right don't create duplicate accounts you know don't create two three accounts in your same name because that that's one thing that people will be um it, it will it will not get you gigs another thing is don't provide any misleading information some of the 
YouTubers have even said in some videos saying that you know um, you could use a, an American's photo or a British person's photo or a white person's photo and people from America people from uh, abroad you know from western countries they'll probably be trusting uh, that kind of photos better and they'll be buying services from you rather than posting your own photo but if you do that and at any point of time if you get caught you you tend to lose your reputation tend to lose your money and all the things that you would have built to that point will be tending to lose all of that because you made um, a mistake and you lied about what uh, your profile or lied about your identity so do, don't do any of that you know make sure that whatever information that you're providing is accurate so that you know later you're not getting into any trouble and you know once you become successful this doesn't come back to bite you so do not give any false information about you uh, when you're creating the profile and don't request to take the communication outside of uh, fiverr or outside of this this website this is like a ola driver or a uber driver saying that you know cut the uh, uber um, process and you know don't don't use uber but i'll go and drop you you know give me money in cash and, and you could do that sometimes some people would have done it but you know uh, that that takes away your security that takes away the the fixed price that uh, uber or the taxi services offer and uh, it 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 may or may not end up as a good thing for you from a driver's perspective from your perspective also so same concept here and if you do it once you might be ending up uh, making short term cash but you know it might not be good for you on the longer run we might be getting bad ratings and and it might not be helpful for you in the longer run so um the first thing that you need to do is you know give your picture um and provide your name and and provide a bit about your experience you know what are the projects that you have completed provide your skill set so what i've done is i've given my picture i've given my name and i've explained that you know what's my skill set you know what's cool about me so i've said that you know i i um, have two youtube channels one is obviously my wife's channel which is 170000 subscribers and 20 million views my channel has got 15000 subscribers and half a million views um i could write more but you know i just i'm trying to create an example here for you guys and i'm also saying that okay you know what did i do why do i uh, why am i putting my youtube channels here you know because i created my own youtube channels i edited my own youtube channels so that's like you're providing something that they can refer to if you have a blog that you're already writing you can refer to that blog anything that you've done online right if if there is something that is already existing you can actually refer to it if not just describe the work that you've done if you've actually worked for a tech company for example you could say that i've done qa for this tech company i've done uh, consulting for this tech company you can do anything basically and then uh, it's asking about your occupation what's your speciality you can say that this is what i do so if i select video and animation these are the examples if you select content writing for example it could give you different examples um then as ask you about your college university so the more information that you provide the more legitimate that you look and if you have a personal website like i said right i'm going to put my uh, my youtube channel website here if you have a blog you can put your blog um anything that you can that you can show that you can showcase you can showcase so you need to connect probably at least one social media accounts so i'm going to connect my twitter for example here and then i need to verify my e- i have already verified my email address to start with i need to verify my phone number as well so you provide a phone number and verify your phone number and then you click on finish now your profile is all done so all the necessary information for the profile is is completed so it's literally taken me less than you know 2 3 minutes to complete the profile the profile is basically simple information at this point of time now comes the um, the the most important part where i need to create my gig or the work that i can do for people i am basically putting out my cv to say that okay i am good at doing this i am good at doing what um, i am selling you know what is it that i am selling what is the service that i am selling like i said right it's only limited by your imagination so i am going to use the video editing process as an example but you know you need to decide what are you good at you know are you good at typing translation you know do you know a regional language do you know multiple regional languages you could offer translation for a regional language for example from english to uh, hindi or english to malayalam um, you know bengali whatever whatever language that you know right there might be people looking for that service you never know and uh, you know it might be a niche for example if no one's looking for something it probably because they thought that it's not existing like you know they might be having an english video that they want to translate but doesn't exist so once you provide that it ask you for for different tiers like i'm i'm going to give a basic tier um a standard tier and a premium tier and i'm going to <coughs> i'm going to clarify this and i'm going to make um these different by by saying that you know 
what am I getting in premium? You know, what is what is it additionally that I'm getting in premium? So I'm going to say basic is two day delivery. So premium is one day delivery. Standard is also one day delivery. And then what's the difference between standard and premium? Because you know both are same. So I'm going to say that if you provide me 30 minutes of footage in premium, I could say I could make it into a, a five minute crisp edited video. Whereas in basic and standard, I can only do for 15 minutes of video. So you're just making some difference between basic, standard, and premium. Obviously, if if you don't feel like you know they can offer three levels of service, you can make all of them similar looking. And um, the only difference is that you can charge a premium. And and once you have different uh, tiers, it looks more professional. It's like okay, you know this person is offering a premium tier for more work that he can do, she or she can do at a higher price. And and it might be looking more professional in the end when you come to the profile. I'll show you another example, a real time example of someone who's already made a profile with these three tiers and it probably makes more sense in that point. So I'm going to say uh, exactly the same thing that I said that, you know, what, what um, am I going to be able to uh, revise it for you for free or am I going to ask uh, additional revision, for example, once you provided the first copy, the second copy, if you're not satisfied and you ask you for more changes, am I going to provide the additional revision for a price or is it going to be uh, free for you? You know, what, what, um, what kind of um, uh, services I'm offering in the additional service. And then I need to name all these tiers and provide a description. And I can just be like, I can just say basic standard and premium, or you can do it in a regional language or give it your own custom name, like, you know, platinum, gold, silver, whatever you want to do. So just make it a bit jazzy, make it a bit different to um, everything that's, that that uh, is out there. <coughs> and then I'm going to describe my gig. So like I said, right, I'm saying I'm going to do video editing. So I'm, I'm saying I'm, I'm doing video editing for YouTube and I've just described the video editing process. Um, then I'm, I'm putting a requirement for the user. So if uh, for me, I'm saying I need a video footage from you, your requirement description and some, some more basic details. If you're doing a caricature, for example, you could say that, you know, I need the original photo and then I need a color tone or, you know, I don't know about caricatures, but you you know what you want to ask um the the basic questions that you want to ask um which you can put down here as a requirement and then i'm saving my gig now once i've saved my gig it is asking you to showcase some of the works for example i'm a video editor right i i'm said that i'm i'm i can make video editing so i've provided some examples of thumbnails of some videos that i've created and then i'm doing a save and continue so you can provide samples of what you have done what you are good at. So translation, for example, you can put samples. Now it's all done. So another two, three minutes, basically in, in, in like, you know, five to 10 minutes, you basically done creating the profile. Um, it's not harming you at all, right? But now comes the important part. This profile um, you know, is gonna sit in Fiverr unless and until you go out and showcase it. It's like, you know, it's your CV. If you're sitting with your CV, you don't expect people to come and pick the CV, right? So this is what your CV looks like. This is what your gig looks like in Fiverr. You can take the link, Socialize it in um, in your social media, Facebook, WhatsApp, can send it to your friends. And friends are actually very important to get your first gig. And I'll explain, you know, <coughs> how friends can help you with the, the first gig in a minute. But this is what it looks like. And anybody who comes and sees this, they, they know what you're offering. They know what you're selling. And if you are buying this service from somebody else, think about what all you will look for that service. If you're buying it from someone, and you put enough information, convincing information in that gig, in the description, in the photographs, in the uh, samples that you're using, that if anybody is going to buy it, if you are going to buy it from somebody else, for example, you know, you'll put, you whatever information you look for in that, you put that kind of information in that. Now, these are some examples. I've used uh, Tamil as an example. You could put a regional language because the regional languages are some of the strengths of Indian people, right? So I've just searched for Tamil. So it says, um, Tamil translation, um, basically all of this is basically saying that tra Tamil translation from English or from a different language. You will notice a lot of it doesn't have any uh, star ratings at all, even though they're charging like less than $5 or very, very um, um, low cost. And some of it is looking professional, but some of it is looking very basic or they are using uh, pictures and words which are just from the internet. It's generic pictures like virtual assistant has no um, significance or no no standout um, uh, image in that you know it's not standing out as to why i should hire this person it doesn't have anything special about it it's just picked up a random image from the internet and just put in a couple of words not made any effort 
to stand out from the rest of the crowd <clears throat> most of these gigs right if you see they are <coughs> looking exactly similar they've used some generic images from internet um, it's not personalized it doesn't look very professional they've just used like a keyboard image you know they've, they've although you know it's kind of it serves the purpose it tells you what they're offering it doesn't stand out from all of these jobs and that's why they're not having any ratings at, at this point so when I was, when a person is looking through this something that needs to stand out um, you need to make it more personable like for example this is again in english to tamil translation it just has words right so it doesn't stand out if i'm buying a service would i buy from this person uh, even though he might be better at doing it rather than this person where you know they put content in it 100% money back guarantee they've listed many languages not necessary that that uh, they need to do it they could be passing on the work to somebody else but you know you look at it you see that this person is multi talented multi language uh, they know um, many languages and you could probably uh, personalize this this it looks more personalized right the the <coughs> the appeal is more in this and they they've spent some time putting all of those languages in their in their uh, description they put spent some time creating the thumbnail it stands out as a as a cv um, or you know it stands out as a profile it stands out as a um, offering so similar example again um, with somebody else who, who created a thumbnail or a video but it's not even showing me what the content is you know it's all cropped incorrectly and and maybe if i go and and buy the service from this person it might be looking good but on the outset at the outset it's not showing me enough information so we've seen some examples we saw the whole process of creating a fiverr account i i showed you um, you know how you could differentiate your profile by standard profiles by normal profiles and how you can make your your uh, fiverr gig stand out and so how you can make people choose you rather than somebody else who's offering the same service or hundreds of other people who are offering the same service but having said all of this the first job the first gig is always going to be really difficult so this is again like a job interview right where the first question that they ask you is you know what's your experience unless somebody gives you a job you know you're not going to have experience so it's an ironical question but unfortunately that's what is true so what could you do to get your first gig um obviously there's a lot of luck involved but you could ask your friends like you know if somebody is looking for a service if somebody is looking for this kind of service you could say that you will do it for them for a maybe even cheaper cost but ask them to buy it through fiverr one you are getting your um, your profile rating up you know they ask them to buy it through fiverr and also give you a rating in fiverr which is legitimate right so you have not taken a fiverr um, approach or a fiverr client and you've not gone outside of fiverr to um, get the communication you basically communicated with someone outside got the job or got the offer through a friend through could be a contact could be a acquaintance but somehow you've got the contact and you work through your way to offer them a service and you can maybe even offer them for free or offer them for a cheaper price but you know um, the, there might be a money exchange outside but ask them to come through fiverr and do everything legitimately in fiverr and ask them to buy that service through fiverr and sell the service through fiverr so you are establishing your first purchase or first Uh, work in fiverr and get them to rate yourself i mean obviously you need to provide good service so you can't falsify information you can't uh, do fake reviews you can't do any of that stuff it has to be all legitimate right because remember at any point um, if something goes wrong and if you try to fake something right that's even when you become successful at a later stage and they find out it's going to be really difficult for you so don't do any of that what i'm saying is you know go to your friend or go to your uh, list of contacts tell them that you are starting up a job like this and it'd be immensely helpful if they can actually come and buy a service from you in fiverr and again people uh, who are in a good position right who are working abroad you know making money you will know a lot of friends who are struggling you've been who lost their jobs or probably you know trying to make their ends meet at, in india and, and you can offer this as a solution to them right and what you can also do is in, like there's an english proverb which says that uh, you know don't give a man a fish but teach him how to fish and he'll probably be more successful so similar to that you can actually offer their offer to buy their service get them to list their profile in fiverr buy one service from fiverr and that might set up their career for all you know right so um, that's one offer i would give them if you want to really help someone help them by by setting up their career by setting up their own work and buying their work legitimately through a process like this which then enables and establishes them 
to buy uh, or to provide services more to people and and probably it it might be a launch of their career for uh, years to come so again i've given you some ideas i've given you some options everything is legitimate i'm not getting any um, you know commission or any uh, brand endorsements or anything from from fiverr i'm not promoting fiverr um, this is not a um, advertisement video all i'm trying to do is you know trying to see if i can help someone by walking through this registration process show them that it's a simple process give them confidence and just just you know um ask them to give it a go right because it's not difficult it's not complicated and you're not you have nothing to lose you know if if you put up your uh, fiverr account you spent a, a bit of time nobody buys it you know you you lost absolutely nothing but you know for all you know if you can put in that effort and and establish your first few sales maybe your your uh, profile can and can go off from there and and uh, it might be something that can give you a passive income or an active income for that matter so hopefully this video was useful again you know all of my content um, i do spend a lot of time so appreciate if you could give me a feedback appreciate if you could subscribe and also share with your friends who might be looking for content like this thank you so much until next time